Hey you guys, Hazard here. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. And in today's video, we are going on a free gold bar treasure hunt. The level 40 treasure hunt, because I hit level 40 and level 41 last night on stream. If you guys haven't been checking out my Red Dead Redemption, two online live streams I highly recommend you guys do so but in this video we are gonna be going on a new treasure hunt so welcome back to the channel welcome back to another Red Dead Online video let's check out our documents we have a new treasure map it is the East Watson's treasure map not only will I be collecting the treasure for myself but I'm gonna be showing you guys all four locations to actually get this treasure in Red Dead Online because as you guys know the treasure and the gold bars and the money can spawn in up to four different locations and I'm going to be showing you guys the one where I find my own treasure and the other three where they can spawn. So if you guys do go on to enjoy this video, definitely drop a like. And also, I am doing a gold bar giveaway here on my channel. So if you guys want to win some free gold bars in Red Dead Online, all you guys need to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, comment down below what you would spend those gold bars on. And lastly, check out the link in the description, the gleam.io link to officially enter the giveaway. And let's get into this East Watson's treasure map treasure hunt in Red Dead Online. Here we are. We've arrived at the treasure map like area, the location where you guys can find everything. And the first location where you can find your treasure is right here in this area, right where I have this marker. I'm going to show you guys each of the locations on the map right here. If you guys want to take a good look, this is the area you're going to be searching in Red Dead Online to find your East Watson's treasure map right here. And the search area for one is right here. The second one is up here, kind of like where these lines kind of dip down because the hill kind of goes in the middle right here. So that's the second location you're going to search. The third location is right here. You can see it's kind of halfway up on this trail between the border of this region and this trail that goes to a peak right here so you're gonna kind of search the middle of that just go right parallel that's where you're gonna put your third marker and the fourth location is right here and obviously the easiest way to find treasure maps is have controller vibration on because your controller vibrates when you're getting close of course this location doesn't work for me right now because my controller isn't vibrating so I know it's not right here so I'm going to go to my next marker and go directly over here I mean essentially you don't need to look at these four locations to see but your controller will vibrate when you're getting close so if you just head to any of these locations you'll know if the treasure is nearby or not so right now my tra uh, my controller is vibrating so I know it has to be somewhere in this area but it's not vibrating enough to make me think the treasure is right here so I'm gonna go and check out these locations as well this is the third location you're gonna want to check just kind of in this area around where the marker is of course in this general vicinity there's no like exact location I can give you guys because of course I've never experienced this treasure hunt before this is my first time doing the East Watson's one and then this is the fourth location right here or the fourth area that it could spawn it, it would probably go in any of these trees the treasure maps are always hidden in like crates and stuff under trees but I'm going back to the location where my controller was vibrating most and there's actually a bear over here so I do have to be careful let's uh oh no my horse bonding isn't high enough uh oh that that's not good hold on let's take care of this guy real quick oh no oh we got him we got him in two shots we were able to kill the bear all right that's awesome that is so cool let's skin this guy up because I'm gonna bring him back to town and we are gonna get some nice money for killing this bear it's very rare that I see grizzly bears just like out here in Big Valley I see them all the time in tall trees but I don't see them anywhere out here so this is the first time that this has ever happened for me in my Red Dead Online game usually I just see bears when I'm specifically doing those missions where you're supposed to be tracking down bears for like Sean McGuire and Stranger Mission characters like that. So let's go back up here to where my controller was vib vibrating and we can see exactly how far off we were from this treasure. Like I said, the marker isn't exactly where you're gonna find it, but it's going to be in this area. Just use your controller vibration to find it. It's probably, yep, here, it's uphill, or it's up here on the top of the hill at this like pagan Indian burial site. So my waypoint wasn't too far off from my little waypoint marker, but this is the location one of them that you're gonna find and this is pretty cool honestly let's open this chest and let's see exactly what we get from this treasure hunt so we do let's see we're gonna take the reward and we are going to get 0.44 gold bars a health cure one hundred forty dollars and fifty six cents and no XP so that is an excellent excellent treasure hunt right there I think that's the most amount of money I've gotten usually I get like hundred and sixteen dollars so that is really really good in my opinion so those are the East Watson treasure map locations like literally these four waypoints right here of course I'm here so this is one really I would put the marker like right there um, 
And then, of course, th that one's going to be in this area. This third one's going to be down here. And then the fourth one's going to be right here next to the Stranger mission. And that is pretty much what you guys want to do to find the East Watson's treasure and get some free gold bars and free money in Red Dead Online. We crashed our two Pintos into each other. Oh my gosh. Look, they're both just... They're both not doing good, man. They're both like, oh no, buddy. Aw, poor horses. This one is looking tough. Oh shit, he just kicked me. Hey, you can't do that. That was mean. That was really mean. Come back here, horse. I need you to come back here because I got to feed you. But really fast, this guy doesn't look like he needs his belongings anymore. I'm sorry. I didn't even see you on the trail right there, friend. And now we also need to pick up our bear pelt. And let's go put this back on our horse. We need to feed her some more hay. I just gave her some hay. But we need to give her even more now because she just like totally got destroyed. Come here, baby girl. Let me give you some more hay. I'm heading over to Angus because we're going to do a stranger mission for him as well. I just really enjoy doing the stranger missions in this game. They're pretty fun. And they also give you some good money. Like Angus always gives you the best payout. So we're going to do his stranger mission and it's going to be pretty dope. Alrighty, Angus. Give us a good one, pal. You better give us a good stranger mission. I'm trusting you. All right, recovery. Find and recover the lost cart. We had to do an on the hunt bear mission, but then that thing expired because the stranger missions are still super glitched out in this game. Rockstar, please get on it and fix yo shit. We're in the search area. We're gonna be searching for this cart. I really have a feeling though that there's gonna be a bear here. Usually that's what happens. When you search for like stolen and lost carts, it always turns up that there's a huge bear in the area as well. So I really hope that's not the case. But let's keep wandering around. Uh oh. Oh, it looks like we found it. It looks like we found it, folks. And the bear is right here. All right. Oh my god. I We got the bear. Oh, that was good. That was good. Let's take this cart home, boys and girls. Let's go. Come on, horsey. Where are we going? Are we going back to Angus? No, we're going to Valentine. We are going to Valentine with the cart. Oh my god, I just hit my horse. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for the love and support on all these videos, guys. It really means a lot. Today, we are doing a double upload. If you guys didn't see my video earlier today, I talked about what type of DLC updates and other changes we're going to see in Red Dead Online and what Red Dead Online is going to be like when you play in 2019. So far, we're six days into 2019 so far. And we haven't seen any changes just yet, but Rockstar has promised plenty of changes and updates to come in Red Dead Online in 2019. So if you guys haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out. I'll have it linked down in the description below. And like always, I hope you guys are enjoying this video too. I want to know your guys' thoughts on what type of changes you want to see in Red Dead Online. Like for example, for me, I'd really like to see those wagons and properties implemented right away. At least they're just something that we could see. They were already leaked, so it makes sense that they were to, to be like some of the first few pieces of DLC that were able to come into the game. That would be extremely nice. My horse is going so slow down this hill right now. Oh well. But that's one thing I'd like to see. Some other type of DLC content that I think that Rockstar can implement right away is like different game modes. The Gun Rush game mode that was leaked, I have a video on that as well on my channel if you guys want to check it out. But we need normal team deathmatch and free for all showdown modes. We don't have that. We have like most wanted. Hostile territory is similar to like Conquest from Battlefield or Domination from Call of Duty where you're capturing flags and holding objectives But most wanted and name your weapons and things like that They're kind of like team deathmatch and they're kind of like free-for-all But they deal with points, you know killing people with different weapons earns you different points and things like that or in uh, Most wanted the player who has like a certain amount of kills gets a certain amount of points And if you kill that player you get more points and that's how you win the game Like it's not just you get a bunch of kills and you win the game as a team Or you get a bunch of kills by yourself and you win the game by yourself because it's a free-for-all It's kind of like a mix and they do some little spin on it I'd like some just traditional normal free-for-all and team deathmatch gameplay like game modes and I'd also like grab the bag uh, like duels from Red Dead Redemption 1 and the post match screens they got to change that since your characters are silent and you just like aim your weapon and it takes a black and white photo it just looks weird I don't know who at Rockstar thought that was a good idea but it really isn't a good idea at all I miss where your guys like spinning his weapon or at least the MVP is he spins his weapon and taunts other players in the lobby and just like says some random stupid insult and it's hilarious and he's like you know 
spinning his revolver and puts it in his holster. Like, that was cool. And it was red and blue backgrounds for people who were on your team or on the other team. I missed that. I don't like the post-match screens in this game at all. I think they got to change that. But those are just some of my ideas. I'd love to know some of yours down in the comments section below as I bring this cart here. Also, guys, I want to give you another reminder on that gold bar giveaway. If you guys want to win free gold bars in Red Dead Online, definitely enter my giveaway by subscribing to the channel, dropping a like on this video, and commenting down below what you guys would spend your gold bars on if you were to win this giveaway. I'd love to know. For me, if I had extra gold bars to spend in this game, because right now I want to save my 77 gold bars, but I'm saving them for future DLC that's coming into Red Dead Online, as well as the Missouri Foxtrotter horse, or the Nakota horse, or even the Turkmen or maybe an Arabian if I just have an extra stall available. But right now I have some pretty cool horses in Red Dead Online. We just completed the Stranger mission with flying colors. Excellent time. We deliver the wagon. If this thing's going to stop, we're going to see just how much money we can make. It looks like it's glitched. Like, I'm, my guy's just standing here. What is going on? Is it going to... Oh, my God. I'm stuck in, like, a cutscene. Look at this. This is the first time that's ever happened in the game. Like, it's like cinematic mode. This is actually pretty cool. Like, huh. I, I mean, I don't know what to... Do I need to, like, get back on the wagon? Is that going to be... No, I actually can't get back on the wagon. Uh-oh. This isn't good. It's glitched. All right. I'm going to leave the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.